All right, I'm overdue for a video. It's been two weeks. Let's get on cracking with this. All right, Geek Nation, welcome back to the workbench. It's I, Doss, your host, for this lovely journey into... God almighty, it's freaking hot. I'm not going to lie, you guys. It's Texas. It's been in the hundreds all week. I'm exhausted because not only did we have 4th of July two weeks ago, but my fridge went out too, so I had to replace that and get it moved to my house, get the old fridge out. I lucked out. Somebody took it away yesterday for free. That's their problem now, not mine. I just went for my ice maker to fill the ice. <laughs> Neil, Neil, Dossie needs his ice. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I wanted to show you guys this. One, I got Loki done. He's painted up to go along with the rest of my Asgardians who are still mostly unpainted. And I've also started on Enchantress. So, we're getting down there. Uh, so, um, if you notice the box in the background, we have two new additions to the fa Asgardian family. Heimdall and Scourge. Let's take a closer look at them, shall we? Alright, now we're a little lower, we can kind of see them better. We got Scourge over here on the left. Heimdall on the right. So, Scourge... He's gonna play kind of as an enforcer, slash, just go hit him guy he's got a really interesting ability though that if you i think pay three energy he can literally just teleport across the map and help uh uh and assist an uh, allied character which is pretty cool if you ask me heimdall same thing of course with the bifrost it's as you expect he can teleport either himself or characters um, Heimdall, as you notice, is still just on sticky tech, and that's only because he comes with these little bifrost effects that I don't want to paint with him. Because if I try to, if I glue those on now, I'm gonna have a heckin' hard time trying to paint him. So he's gonna stay off his uh, off his base for right now until I get uh, around to painting him. I kind of owe justice to the other Asgardians first, since they came first in the group. Paint them too. I got a lot of painting to do, to be very honest with you. I've got so many models to paint. But, I'm happy now. Uh, I've got a little larger family for the Asgardians. Uh, also, the nice point part is, uh, these guys are not expensive to play in the game. They're only, you know, three points apiece. Weird thing is, though, I think they changed the plastic. Pretty sure they changed the plastic. Because the bases do not feel the same plastic as... Sorry, that's my dog. He's moving around. Um, in the background. The bases do not feel as the same plastic as the models. The models feel different from the old plastic, which are like, you know, the ones back here. Or maybe I'm just losing my mind. Correct me if I'm wrong, somebody, please. So, that's the Asgardians for right now. Let's go on to the next bit. Okay, so now we've got these three up here. The mirror. Lucaris and Morlock. These three are models from Chimera Models out in Italy or Pegaso World. Uh, I think that's how they pronounce it out there uh, for this line. They deal with display miniatures at 75 millimeter uh, scale. Uh, I've been working on the Lucaris for a bit. Uh, to give you an idea, this is what he looks like it's a resin model. Many pieces come with this because, like, there's the head. He comes with a skull mask, like, you know, featured in the picture. The pauldron's a piece. These bits right here were a piece. This, I guess, leather strap was a piece. The skull part and pouches, the dagger piece. This wolf's foot is a piece. This pouch is a piece. He's got another cape. So I've still got the arms, the boots are also an individual piece. This, I mean, this is a very nice model, very crisp, very clean model for resin. I mean, no, like, no, almost no mold line. Like, that's the only mold line I think I've ever found so far. It's a very clean model, and I, I cannot wait to start painting these up. How I'm going to paint up, I have no idea. <laughs> but I can admire a good, clean model, especially on a, on a resin pull. Uh... Vivir and Morlock, however, I have not started messing with them yet. 
Morlock's body comes basically all almost almost in one piece. Just got to put add all the uh, the top parts to him. <laughs> got to add his groin <laughs> uh, and some of the big parts. Obviously, the head comes with two heads. Comes with a uh, helmeted head like the one in the picture, and also comes with a unhelmeted head. But I'm gonna go with the helmeted head. Also, his swords came in kind of warped, or his sword and ass came kind of warped, so I gotta heat them up, kind of bend them back into place. Same with uh, Vemir's swords and uh, spear that he has. He also comes with a shield, so he, Vemir's got quite a variety. I'm almost, almost tempted by another one of him, just so I can have him kind of like without the helmeted head and with the swords and everything. I think it'd be kind of cool. So, that takes care of that bit. Let's find something else to look at. So, so let me show you this. I've been collecting this for the past two years. Finally got the collector's edition of it. So let me whip these out. So for the past two years, as you can see, I have been collecting the last Ronin. It is a, they started this back in February of 2020. I finally now have all six issues, technically five, plus an artist design archive, plus the hardback, written by the original creators, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, basically answering the one word, the one question, how would you end the series? How would you end Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a whole? This is a great read. Go get it. I'm not going to spoil anything because it's amazing and it was a wild ride reading just, you know, the anticipation of waiting the two years to get all six of the trade paperbacks and then realizing, oh, they did a, you know, hardback. But I had to have it for my collection because uh, I'm a Turtles nut job. I love Turtles. I've been growing up with Turtles since eight, since, you know, the 90s. I've got more Turtles stuff than actually anything else in the house. <laughs> In any other collection, any I got more turtle stuff than any minis that I have, more turtle stuff than any Legos. It's that's my that's my fandom, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I got more turtle stuff than I do Star Wars, and that's saying something. But yeah, go buy this. Either get the hard the trade paperbacks or the hardback. Either one, an excellent read. I will be reading rereading it again tonight, just because of that fact. So. Uh, that is that. that that is pretty much everything i've got for this week it's been really hot and so this is a great way to stay indoors especially after my fridge went out <laughs> oh man that was not fun moving that in the middle of the middle of this heat trust me uh so hope you guys like this comment like subscribe catch you on the flip side